<laughs> okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, if you're watching the recording. But for those of you who are coming live, it is a good morning. Good morning, everybody. Again, coffee with Eddie. Today's mug is uh, from Mount Lacan. Don't tell this. I took this from my wife. Yes, she... The story behind this cup, by the way, is that... Oh, let me show you. You, you. you can't even see. I'm looking at it. You're not looking at it. There you go. Lacan Lodge, okay? All right, so the story... <laughs> I laugh at this because watch. So what happened was this: is that man, this thing, this thing is hot, not not, not too hot, mm, just right. Okay, so the story behind this coffee mug, uh, Mount Lacan. My wife went up and uh, climbed it with her dad, and uh, she, based on her story, she tells me it was an amazing experience. Plus, there there was. Um, there were some challenges that they went through. I mean, it was, it was pretty cool for them to do that. And they stayed at this lodge. Well, in this lodge, they they give you, or I guess you can buy in this lodge, uh, this mug. But uh, she tells me that this is the only place, and her dad still uh, also um, concurs with that, with, that, uh, with that answer, that that is the only place where you can get this mug. Good morning. Good morning if you're watching. Uh, hello. So, so anyway, so she went and climbed a, a mountain to get this mug. Well, what I said is, well, gee, I don't care about climbing mountains to get just a coffee mug. I'll just go get it in Amazon. <laughs> so, so, you know, I still haven't even looked for it. Um, I'm sure I can find it somewhere and have it but um, yeah, she tells me this is her mug. But you know what? It's my mug today. <laughs> so Mount Lacan coffee mug. The coffee tastes the same. Mm. Mm. All right, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Cool beans. Let's see what we got for you today. Okay. So yesterday... Okay, yesterday you all got me going with this. You see it right here. I haven't even erased it with this marketing thing. Um, with the, um, not marketing, I'm sorry, with the uh, mental picture, the clear mental picture of your audience. Like who is your audience? Who's your, your, your target, right? Uh, and then to focus on one thing, all right? So I, you, we started talking about that yesterday. And uh, I, you can watch the the uh, yesterday's video. You'll you'll find it. Well, you can go to my page and find it. Anyway, and I talked about one message and one channel using one channel, one message. Well, obviously, uh, let me. Something's happening here. I'm not sure what it is. All right, here we go. So we talked about one channel, one message. And we talked about that you need to be clear, like what, what's your what's your message, right? So today what I want to do is, um, I thought about this and I'm just going to kind of give you uh, one of the tools that could actually just help you out to basically go out there and, and, and test out things, like test out not only the market, but also basically know who is actually interested in what you have to say and where they're at it's uh it's through facebook all right so so i'll give you that today now let me cover one thing before i do that um so basically this this type of approach um, this is like diving in you've got a good morning good morning uh this is this is the thing that you have to do uh, let me turn my message on here and by the way, I'm using Ecamm. So for those of you who don't know, Ecamm Live is really cool. Used it for years. Uh, it's it's very, um, very effective to, to do this type of shows to multiple channels. Anyway, go check it out. E-C-A-M-M Live. Ecamm Live. All right. So basically, the what I want to cover is is uh, the tool that I want to give you. But before I do that, here's the thing, okay? we Again, we're, we're being pushed into using online to being online okay I just had a conversation this week with a, a, a business owner a physical he has a physical business and uh, he, he just kind of he he knows he need he can do things online um, but he's he's thinking about what to do 
right? Uh, he sees a lot of information um, uh, through his Facebook feed. Um, he's attempted to do some videos. He's he's got a web page out there, and and it's just not enough traffic going there, you know. And so he's he's looking at at the whole scenario right now. And obviously, being a small business, uh, he's his um, his his business is going down. Okay, so what do you do? What do you do when when that's happening? All right. Well, the conversation I had with him, it was practically trying to find out. Doing inventory. I talked about this this week, uh, one of the videos. I talked about it. You've got to take inventory of what you have, what you know, and what you can do. So so I did a quick inventory, took inventory with him. And out of the things that his business does and out of the things that he is, um, he's got this passion to do, I chose two things. And one of the things was to make cash quick, right? Bring in some cash quick. And the second thing was one of his passions, something that he's he it's it's dear and near to his heart, and he's got a story behind it, right? So that was cool, and and it's all about branding. It's all about branding that that passion that he's had he has. So what to do? Well, basically now I took inventory. Here is the things that we focused on, right? Now what? What's the next step? All right. So again, think about it. I told you about taking inventory of what you know, what you can do, what you have, choosing, and you got to choose. You got to decide because you have to test it, right? And and again, I'm gonna show you today how how to test that stuff. Like, does is it worth your time right now? You know, because we're in a hurry, right? We gotta we gotta jump on board on this. So once you take inventory, you gotta know. That's why I talked about yesterday your your market like who who's your who's your person who's that person you got to be clear basically about who's out there that wants what you have okay and then of course you got to choose you got to be very precise you got to choose one channel one message and just keep testing it testing until it comes out what you want it to be so that's the next step right took inventory out of the things that he has and out of everything there was only two things Again, one was going to bring in some cash quick and, you know, not the money making, okay? Because people right now, businesses are not going to be paying for a lot of things. But, you know, there's always deals that you can make. And the other thing is the brand. The other thing is the one that's going to last longer, pass through this thing. And it could be big. It could be huge. I'm telling you, when I saw that, I thought, oh, my goodness, you, you've got, I told him, you've got something here. This is it. But we've got to start how? By testing the market. Like, what are people going to tell you about this? So if you have something like that, if you have a passion and you've been thinking about it, maybe you're just not sure how to start, well, you start with videos. Okay, I mean, that's the, that's the quickest thing right now to do. Um, have you ever, if you've never done a video before, <laughs> look, it's really simple. I mean, seriously, it's just picking up your phone, right? Um and I, I like you to use Facebook. I talked about pick a channel, social media channel, basically yesterday. The reason why I do that is because there's there's a, each channel has different crowd, right? Different environment. Um, let me tell you what they are right now, so that way you 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 don't you you know what I'm talking about. So basically, Facebook, Facebook, it's uh, practically knowing what everybody's doing. That's what it is. So people want to know. What's going on? What's going on with you, with your fat friends that follow you? What's going on with you? It's, a, it's like a personal dive into your life. <laughs> so that's what Facebook is all about. So guess what? When you use Facebook, you're going to have to build stories, right? I mean, create something so that people can engage. Uh, Twitter. Twitter is all about news. <laughs> that's that's it. Uh, so there are some sports, but it's all about news. And, and you'll see that. Okay, there is a new. I just noticed there is a new uh, news uh, media their outlet. Uh, they're taking they're taking advantage of this situation right now. What's going on? And that's what they're posting in in Twitter. I mean, they are just bombarding, and a lot of people are following them now. Brand new, like like literally, we've never heard of them before ever till this this season. Okay, so that's Twitter. What about Instagram? Okay, Instagram 
is if you're very creative. Uh, for example, creativity meaning like uh, you take fo photography and you make things look amazing. Okay, that's Instagram, right? Um, there is uh, there is a way to do videos, but those videos are short. Uh, I um, IGTV. Uh, it's got to be 15 minutes or less, meaning that you need to reduce your content and be very precise. But again, creativity, um, a lot of behind the scenes kind of thing. That's what Instagram is all about. So TikTok. <laughs> all right, I don't have to tell you if you don't know anything about TikTok. Well, look, all if you know how to how to perform, <laughs> if you want to be silly and perform and just have a good time, that's TikTok. And that's why it's so popular because they've done an amazing job. Video and music, two of the most important things in our lives, in history. There's always been uh, stage and music, uh, like a stage performance and music. That has been always part of our world. And so TikTok, it's doing amazing with that stuff, okay? So if you understand those channels, right? And then there's LinkedIn, by the way. LinkedIn is all about professionalism, right? It's this LinkedIn is very professional, career-minded type of person. Now, I would tell you this. If you have a physical business and you are the type of business, business-to-business kind of business that you have, LinkedIn is the place to go. Uh, yes, Facebook is cool. So, for example, uh, when I was spoke, speaking with this gentleman, um, and I told him the, about the quick cash that he can make because you know something that he can do right away, LinkedIn will be the place to go. Okay, for that because again, he's selling to a business. He goes and and helps businesses out. So, so LinkedIn is the place to start posting, talking about it, finding out who's out there and doing that. But for a brand, uh, for a passion that's a brand that could become huge, big, um, and and it's something it could be worldwide, really. Then uh, I I usually start with Facebook. So that's what we're gonna start today. Anyway, so what I was saying is, you take a video. It's really simple. You go live on the video and you say something like this: Hey, my name is Eddie, and I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida. And you know what I see today? The problem that I see today is that people are just uh, in panic mode and they're looking for things that, you know, it doesn't make sense. So why am I telling you this today? Well, because today I'm gonna actually give you two things that you need to focus on in this panic situation. First of all, don't panic, be cool. But those two, these two things that I'm gonna share with you are, I think, I feel very important, All right? So again, that's my intro there, right? So now I tell you a story, right? And again, you're doing this on your, on your phone. And you tell the story. Well, you know, the reason why I want to give you these two tips is because, um, you know, I, I saw a friend of mine. He was freaking out. There was no toilet paper. <laughs> There's no toilet paper. And, you know, he's freaking out. And he came by and he's asking me for toilet paper like it's the end of the world with no toilet paper. So what I did, I said, look, dude, you know, you can actually, you'll be okay without toilet paper. If you don't have any, come in and, and check it out. Uh, uh, come and ask me. But you can do a couple of other things. And so I gave him these two things. I said, look, use napkins. Why not? <laughs> right? Or use uh, baby wipes. Why not? Right? Okay, so those are my two tips. All right, so let me give them to you again. Two tips is go use your um, uh, uh, napkins or use your baby wipes. All right? Hope this helps. If you like, share. Talk to you soon. That's it. Right? So something really quick, really easy. And uh, you always want to give something. Give them a, a story. And that's what you do on Facebook Live. Now, that's how easy that is. And then, of course, when you start doing those Facebook Live, you want to see what's happening. And that's what I'm going to show you today, okay? You want to see what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, you want to see how many people are clicking, liking, watching, where they're at, what's their age, all that good stuff. So let me show you what I mean, okay? So uh, let me actually, I'm not even logged in on my Facebook. Let me go there now. But... <clears throat> What you want to do is, um, you've heard of boosting, okay? Start with that. That That is a simple thing to do. And I apologize, I've got to, I got to log in, so I got to focus here on my passwords of so many passwords, right? Give me just a moment. While we wait, I can sip another cup of coffee. Coffee with Eddie. <laughs> Hmm. All right, logging in. 
Okay. So here we go. Let me go to my page and I'm going to share with you what I mean. All right. Oh, let me share. Yeah, that should help, right? Okay, so sharing with you right now. So what do I mean? Okay, so if you start doing uh, live videos, and by the way, why do I choose live videos? Is because Facebook enjoys, <clears throat> excuse me, enjoys and loves engagement. So when you go live and you get people watching and engaging, like liking or commenting, you know, your video is going to go uh, viral, you know, more out there to more people. But uh, let's say it doesn't happen right away. Well, then you still have to test. Oh, there is me live right there. Um, let me go to, let's see here. I want to show you something. So you see the boost, right? You see the button boost. You can do that with uh, a video. And again, that's the quickest way to get started. All right. There's all the ways out there that you can do. I'm not going to get too technical with you, but um, let me get to the one that I want to show you. Okay, here we go. So let me give you this one since all right, so what it says boots is unavailable because this is already uh, being boosted. Um, but unfortunately, it's not giving me what I want you to see. Maybe because it just started. So let me see if I find another one. Come on there, Facebook. Okay, let's let's do this one. Okay, yeah, there we go. This one finished. All right, cool. So here we go. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to show you something. All right. All right. So check this out. So right here, it shows my paid, paid reach and my organic reach. All right. So based on this information, 52% out of this total number was, was organic and 48% was paid. All right. So why is this important to me? Well, because look, you saw what I just did, by the way. I, I just went back like this because look, it's showing me unique viewers. This is viewers that have never seen me before. 207 people, right? And, and again, this post was done uh, on the 7th of this week. By the way, I'm always telling you what I, I already do. So, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, start doing videos. So the 7th, which was, what's today? The 9th. So a couple of days ago, all right, 200, uh, 207 people, new people, and then post engagements. Okay. This is uh, what you want to know. How many people engage? So look at this right here. Look at this. Watch men, the top audience, men, 45 to 54. You see what I'm saying? You, and look at this top location, Pennsylvania, for some reason, I don't know why, but you see that you're getting now information that helps you understand your market, who's out there, who's watching, where they're at. Do they like it? All right. So for example, with me, I'll give you an example, uh, post engagement, 13 engagements. You know, I'm not so, you know, it's, it's not like, wow, let me, let me keep going. Like, I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe this is finished already. I think, let me, let me see. All right. Oh, look at this. More information, by the way. 10 second video views or plus like they, it goes over 10 seconds. Uh, watching the video, 108 people. Uh, one minute, one minute, nine people. Oh, you see, see that one minute, nine people only. So again, that's not this is not my favorite one, my favorite numbers. But do you get my point? You're getting all this information right here through Facebook. I mean, I'm telling you, Facebook knows so much about each and every one of us. So, so this is okay. Now, uh, let's say if I want to boost it again, would I? Mm, not really. But what I would do is I would take some information of this video and try to come up with a better way of delivering. Maybe it's a, it's a long video, you know, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But again, you start testing things, right? Um, let's get, fi let's find something that, um, I've seen before. Let me see if I can. Okay. So check this one now. How about this one? All right. Look at this. Uh, 1200 people reach 66 engagements. Do I like that better than 19 app or oh, 13? Yeah, absolutely. 13 or 19, whatever it was. But look at this, this one, the organic one was much less. I had to pay for it. And by the way, how much do you charge? Uh, how much does Facebook, Facebook charge? Listen, it was like a penny or two pennies per per uh, um, 
per engagement. So it's not that bad, all right? So look at this, unique viewers, 700 uh, post engagement. There's only nine, look at that, it's only nine. But, but check this out, top audience, women, 55 to 64, what in the name? Top location, California. Do you see what I'm getting at? You're gonna get all this information, all right? Check this out, one minute video views, uh, one minute or more, right? 67, I like that number, I like that better, okay? Um, so again, you start getting, <clears throat> excuse me, start getting all this information from, from Facebook, okay? You start posting these videos, do it. Do it immediately. Listen, it doesn't have to be perfect. But when you start posting, pick one or two videos that you think, right, you think might actually help the community and you boost them, right? Click on boost the, the post. So when you do that, you're going to tell the, you're going to tell Facebook, hey, you know, I want to reach the United States. Um, anyone from the age of 18 to 65 plus, and maybe put like a demographic. Right? Let's say if you're a, if you're a doctor, a chiropractor, it's just put some type of uh, wellness, right? Like a demographic, people who are interested in wellness or physical fitness, right? Uh, if you're a gym owner, right? Physical fitness. So things like that, you start just messing with that around. Now, that's what you do, and notice I only said certain things here. Uh, again, you pick the location, United States, you pick the age, 18 to 65 plus, and you pick a one demographic, one. Don't pick a bunch, okay, because then you're not gonna know what's working. So you pick uh, whatever you think is within your industry and who you wanna reach and what type of people are interested in what, so let's say again, if you're a chiropractor, I would say wellness. If you're a gym owner, I would say uh, personal fitness or fitness or fitness in general. And then you go ahead and click post, right? Um, your budget, the budget. Facebook is gonna ask you for a budget. Now, what I'm seeing right now, this is like, this is, this is amazing. It's really inexpensive, okay? Very inexpensive. And it makes sense, right? You know, everybody's not, uh, like the big companies, the, the big, huge companies who are spending thousands a day with Facebook are not, possibly they're not doing that much. So Facebook is gonna basically give you a break on getting leads and getting people to see your stuff. So I've seen already one penny, two pennies um, daily. What does that mean for you, like a penny or two? Well, daily, I'm seeing 67 cents. Uh, I've seen a dollar daily, just a dollar to get a bunch of people watching your video, your content, your information. Makes sense. All right, so again, let me end with this. Okay, you, you want to know what to do. All right, let me close some things up here. All right, so you want to know what to do. We talked about this yesterday. Be clear about the message that you're going to, uh, excuse me, the, the group of people that you're gonna to talk to. Who's your audience? Think about it. I want you to just ask that question. Who are you talking to, right? Who are you talking to? If you're, if you're having a live conversation through video to that one person, who is that person? And, and what would you say? How would you act? How would you react? And, and what, what type of information would you give out? So think about that. Who's your audience? Who's listening? Right, so be clear about that, understand that. Then choose one thing, so choose a message. Choose one message, choose one channel. I'm telling you the channels, use Facebook. And, and go live, start going live. Live is good. Um, recorded videos is not, because you still have to do extra work to get it to be there. I would say, if you wanna get technical with me, if you're, if you're watching and you know more than just the foundation, Ecamm, go Ecamm. You can record a video, you can put it up through Ecamm, but then again, that requires you being in front of the computer, see? This is easy. You have that in your pocket wherever you go, pull it out, start live video, and, and give that, uh, do that video, like the example I just gave you. And then after doing that video, wait about a couple of hours, see the reaction, see re the responses already without boosting that video. And if you feel that that's the video you wanna boost, 
go ahead, boost the video, and use again the type of demographics, right? Um, I told you, United States, between 18 and 65 and over, um, and then choose one type of demographic, uh, meaning whatever it is that you do, whatever your business is, choose one thing, and then click boost. Uh, use your budget wisely. I will say do three days, four days. So that's an average of four dollars, three or four dollars uh, for that boost and see. You come back, what I showed you, come back and click and see the numbers, right? And start learning who is listening, who is watching, you know, and you start going by those numbers and then every video you do, you look at the numbers, look at the information that you gave, and then you move on, you do more and more. And finally, how often would you do it? Listen, um, right now, like me, I'm doing this every day, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7, 7 a.m. Pacific. Coffee with Eddie. Come back and see me tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm doing this every day until further no notice, of course. And I'm doing this because of this situation. And, and, I, I, and again, I want to just reach out and help as many people as possible that I know that you guys are out there thinking, how the heck do I get my business online or how do I start using the internet and social media for the benefit of my business or or how do I even start a business online now that I have all this time at home and working from home, right? I know you're out there. So I, I'm doing everything I can to take you step by step. You can always watch the previous recordings. But anyway, what I'm saying is how long, how often do you want to do videos? Hey, listen, once a day, okay, cool. Twice a day if you have the time, but stay committed to whatever it is that you're going to do, okay? Uh, again, I'm telling you, especially now, especially now, people are watching more than ever before. Think about that. Take advantage of it. I'm telling you. And then uh, stick with one message, right? And, and test it out. All right, cool. Thank you again so much for coming back here on Thursday and uh, again tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I have, um, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to be one of those that I'm going to be, oh, if you come back tomorrow, I'll do this, this, and that. Forget it. Listen, tomorrow is going to be another day. I'm going to be here um, and, and we'll talk. Okay, we'll talk. We'll go over what we've done this week so far. Um, hopefully, if you are joining me live or if you're watching this video and you've got questions, put them in the comment. I'll go through the comments and, and I'll, ask, I'll answer the questions tomorrow. How about that? There you go. That's what I'll do. <clears throat> That's what we'll do. All right, guys. Thank you again. Have an outstanding day. Um, stay cool. Stay calm. Be safe. And... God bless you all, all right? God bless you all, and I will see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific. Again, back with Coffee with Eddie. Mount Lacan. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good one. Thank you, everybody. Peace.